Got a question from a guy named Tony. Pretty simple question regarding bass drum beater height. And uh, I think it's from Russia. From what I'm seeing from the, uh, from the signature on this email, I think it's from Russia. But anyways, um, <clears throat> he just had a basic question. He's just asking, do I prefer to adjust the beater so that it hits the center of the bass drum head? Or is it more of a feel thing? I guess he wants to know how to adjust the height of his, of his beater. Um, this really didn't require a video response, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I just wanted to add some information to his answer. But generally speaking, no, I don't have a preference. I don't really care. I don't really think about it too much. As long as it's relatively, you know, hitting the center of the kit, then I don't really put too much thought into how high or how low the, the beater is. This is a 20 inch kit. Um, generally, if I'm, if I'm transferring my pedal from a 22 to a 20, it's not gonna hit in the same spot. Like it's, it's two inches small, right? Which means it's gonna hit a little bit off center, a little bit higher than dead center, which is fine. It still sounds like a bass drum. Like I don't really adjust the height of the beater to, uh, to accommodate a smaller bass drum. Um, I might, if I'm playing an 18, like if I go from a 22 to an 18, then I might do that. But if you're going to adjust the height of your beater, um, you should really be thinking more about the, uh, the feel of the pedal itself. Because when you change the height of the beater, it's going to affect the feel, particularly um, if you're doing it in conjunction with the length of the throat. Most guys that adjust the, the height of the beater are trying to get a different feel out of their pedal. So if you adjust the beater so that it's all the way at the end here, so that's at its full length, you're going to get more swing. It's going to feel heavier. So guys that want more power, you know, they can adjust it so that it's sitting higher up. Um, they might also, like I said, <clears throat> in conjunction with um, adjusting the level of the throw, the further back you put it, the heavier it's going to feel, the more power you're going to get. All right. Um, and on the other hand, if you if you shorten it, it's going to feel a little bit faster because you're you're shortening the throw. So guys, metal players that use triggers, for instance, um, what they'll do is they'll adjust the beater so it sits a little bit closer to the head, and then they might depending on who it is, they might shorten the length of the beater because, again, it's just going to feel a little bit lighter. You're going to lose power, but because they're putting triggers on the kick, it doesn't, doesn't make any difference anyway. So <clears throat> that's the whole deal with beater height. It doesn't really matter if it's hitting dead center or not. You can hit slightly above. Um, it, it more than likely is not going to hit a little bit below unless you're playing a 24-inch. 24-inch kicks... Same thing. It's gonna it's gonna hit a little bit below center if you're uh, if you're going from a 22 to a 24 with the same pedal. You might want to just kind of raise it up a little bit so that it hits uh, a little bit more towards the center. But it's still gonna sound like a bass drum, man. It, it just, you don't have to put too much thought into uh, the height of your beater.